I'm gonna need your phone, babe. Welcome back. Welcome back. Sorry I wasn't here today with a daily video. Ah, uh, but I did go out and celebrate my birthday with my aunt and uncle today. So much fun. Oh, oh my god. Wow. I had such a blast. Oh my gosh. I was sweating so much. Um it just so much fun let me tell you that it was so much fun and i'm exhausted now like i can't believe how exhausted i am i'm so exhausted i'm like wow that was a workout so i didn't i was just like oh my gosh so exhausted it's i didn't know it could be so exhausting playing uh games at the arcade Actually, I didn't even know we were going to be playing games. Honestly, just wanted to go to John's Incredible Pizza for the buffet. Plus, you know, would be nice, but not going to expect that. And uh, my aunt was like, no, we're, <laughs> we're playing games. So she got us 200 tokens and uh, tickets for uh, ride tickets. <laughs> go on a ride. And oh my gosh, um, had so much fun forced my uncle into a couple games and on a ride but i think he had more fun than you know he thought he would so it, he had a blast it was we all had a blast so it was so much fun so today i just took a break from uploading a video and um just got ready to go hang out with my aunt and uncle and yeah and i even got a 50 dollars gift card to taco bell from them Woo! because they know we're up late, late at night working <laughs> So, um, yeah, they're helping us out with our late night snacks. And then they bought lottery tickets for everybody. And I won $30. And my uncle won a free ticket. And he gave it to me. So I got 40 bucks there. He's like, that's for your gas. It's like, yeah, oh my gosh, the gas is so expensive. But yeah, so, um, so much fun. So, and I'm exhausted and I'm just like there were so many things I wanted to do today but wow I was you know I played like a kid and had a blast and oh my gosh I'll do it again because it's just so much fun so you like my shirt thank you well this is a birthday gift from Gail I didn't she knew Yay! it was here but I didn't tell her if I liked it or not I opened it and I was like, this woman, she's always sending me my favorite food on my shirts and it's just like the best thing because she's the one that's sending me my Dr. Pepper shirt. And uh, now I just need uh, some, you know, some merch. I need Dr. Pepper to send me a uh, <laughs> box and I need SpaghettiOs to send me some PR. But yeah, so it's on the new SpaghettiO and got a little tongue right there. Yeah, it says new. That's new, so me, uh -huh. I'm the new. Oh. New SpaghettiO in tomato sauce. Uh, and so I brought out my SpaghettiOs. The other night we were talking about uh, SpaghettiOs. And I don't know, I guess this could be like a, I'm white so I can say this. It'd be like white trash. <laughs> uh, food of choice, the way I eat it. And, um, and no offense to anybody's white trash, okay? We've all had our days. So, um, I do not like, prefer my SpaghettiOs out of a can, cold, not heated. Um, if I do heat the SpaghettiOs, it is a must that there is toast with butter. If there's no toast with butter, it's just weird. I don't know what to say. I don't like them heated by themselves. Weird. I prefer them cold not in a bowl i mean we're literally eating them straight out of the can like that, that that's how i like them uh so yeah so the i got a tomorrow used to do that well you better get back to it uh angel says that's the way i love it exactly so you know i got a shirt to go with my spaghettios this is all the spaghettios i have i do need to get more um we're running low so yeah because i do eat these on a regular thing like Probably why I lost a lot of weight was because of this. It's not a lot in there. So let's see who we got in here. We've got Maria, Amanda, JJ's Doll World, My Heavenly Babies. Uh, obviously Jackie's in here. Gail's in here. Elisa's in here. Alexis is in here. Sugar Honey Ice Tea, Amanda Panda, Jen, Rebecca. Oh, nice to see you guys. Nice. Nice to see Joanne, Sherry, Suzanne. Okay, all 
All right. Miss T. Vic BC. Nice to catch you. Erin, Unknown Plays. Nadine. Miguel says that's how her friend kids Oh, nice. Yeah. Whitney. The Carter crew. Yeah, my mom eats them the same way, too. She probably say I'm lying, though. I'm just saying, I obviously got my bad habit from somewhere. Wasn't TV. I know this is not hot cocoa bomb, but it is hot coffee. Uh, you love baby dolls? Thank you. Yeah, my babies are so quiet. They better be quiet. Um, so we're going to be building this baby. He's heading home. This is Mr. Max. So cute. I think he looks like a Max. You're going to be like, building him, he looks built? Yeah, yeah, looks are deceiving. Oh my gosh, he's built, but he is not weighted. So, we are going to um, weight him up. But yeah, I have two babies still available on the website. So, if you guys are looking for a new baby to add to your collection, head on over there. We're going to be uploading quite a few vintage dolls in the next 24 hours up there so keep an eye out on that go register your email with the website um if carol harman's in here we don't know are you getting emails from us i just need you to confirm that because i had to actually delete you from my website email list um because my email my website provider is crying at me you're one of many but they're crying at me saying it's a bounce back email and I'm just thinking you had your email maybe registered a couple times so if you could just let me know if, you, if you're hearing from my website don't register it again if you're hearing from it because they complain at me about that but there's a few people if you're not hearing from my um we have had to delete quite a few emails they're coming back as spam bounce back and they'll actually cancel my service with them I don't they're really crazy I pay for it why do they care about the bounce back but anyways so if you're not getting emails from the website, it's because we had to delete you. There's been quite a few of them, and a lot of you that were like, we know they shop here, they just place an order, but their email is bouncing back, so we have to delete you. So we just assume that you might have registered your email multiple times with us, which would make sense why you get a bounce back, because Gmail, Yahoo, and all of them, they don't want you getting five of the same email. So if you feel like you're not getting emails from us and we send them out almost daily, uh, please re-register re your email with us because it got deleted and I don't know why they marked you as spam and told me to delete them. But this is the life of that. So yeah, so this guy's Max, super cute. Um, absolutely love him. Hey Magpie, nice to see you. Um, but yeah, his mom is so excited. This is her second baby from me, her first baby. It was a basic art doll, right? Yes. Basic art doll. And it had a rooted poof, too, actually. Oh, she loves that baby so She much. loves that baby so much. Loves that baby. And um, she was dying to get this baby. She was like, I hope he's available on Thursday. I don't have the full funds right now, but I need that doll. This was like a, like a week ago. Uh, prior to Thursday and I was like oh yeah no I hope so too and he was so his mommy is so stoked to get him so I'm just taking his limbs off because they're just on their weighted not weighted but yeah so we're gonna weight him up <laughs> oh hey mom don't mind me I don't feel a thing I promise you, this is all pain-free. YouTube, this is a fake doll. Don't be getting stupid with me. Oh, you never know about them. She's playing dumb. Okay. So here we go. Your neck tie is a little tight. I'm going to need to do a different one on you. All right. Here we go. We've got that taken care of. We're going to put your head right up here with this. We're gonna get him started out on his addiction young. There we go. Alexis and Aaron say they love their baby dolls. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Let me get a photo of this doll. I want to get a photo of the doll we did on it. Like that on the SpaghettiOs. I hope I'm gonna be able to get that. Oh no! 
Let me see what we uh, I need to get a little bit higher. <laughs> oh, look at that guy. <laughs> Keep cutting his hair off. Hold on, one more time, one more time. It's like in real life. Sucks in a real person. And I'm like, one more time, we didn't get that photo right. One more time. <laughs> Jackie's like, ugh. I hate taking photos. I'm like, yeah, well, you shouldn't have blinked because you look real stupid when I got to share that photo. <laughs> so, <laughs> Man, just not blink. All right, all right. Here we go. Taking out its stuffing. Yeah, so I thought I'd bring out the SpaghettiOs. It was really perfect for uh, the gift I got in the mail. Love it. Put this polyfill over there. All right, got our glass beads over here. Get this baby going. Get out of here. We can leave friends now. So I fill the limbs almost all the way to the top. I leave like about a good maybe inch not filled. And then we top it off with polyfill. Get the glass piece in there. Oh, I'm glad you're scrolling through the website. I hope you like it. Um, we're always looking for cool things to upload there. So if there's things you're in search for, just let us know and we'll look for it to put on there. Hey, Sarah. Nice to see you. Hey, Nana Helen. Okay, here we go. YouTube is clutching their pearls as we speak. What? <laughs> hey, what's going on in here? Because you said, um, what did you say about YouTube? Oh, I called them out. Yeah, yep, but she, she said that. <laughs> I get rough with their customer service, and sometimes I think maybe I shouldn't get rough with them. Because I'm like, they could just delete my account. <laughs> but honestly, I have to just tell them, yeah, do you really read your reply? Like, I can tell that this is not... This is a draft. Excuse me, I've worked in customer service before. I know this is one of your draft emails to the side. And do you read how, do you, it sounds so stupid. Your reply doesn't make sense to what I'm asking. Oh. Oh my gosh. I'll tell you what. That's all I got to say about that. Hey, Roxana, nice to see you. You were looking uh, for the Simba outfit? Oh yeah, that outfit's not for sale, actually. The vintage one I picked up. Yeah, that one's for Ocean. It's gonna have to rock that. Hey, nice to see you! Alexa, Peppa Alexa. Pig! Oh. Hey, Treasure of Glory! Must have been a notification that just went out. But yes, go ahead. Uh -huh. Alexa says, how long have you been doing baby dolls? I think we've been making them now 12 years. So for a little bit, little bit, lots of practice got me here, yeah. lots of frustrated times. Oh, that's right, Amanda said it would look for the floaties, that totally skipped my mind. <laughs> we had we talked about it, and look. we're going to have to I go like apologize. today because they're not, they're a limited Are thing. They open Seven or not 24 7 but are they open late they're at least open till midnight okay we will go check i think they're 24 7 because it's really literally around the corner yeah it's literally right down the street we're horrible people so we apologize no we have that. been um we had a deadline uh with the, the irs and which is gonna be real and so we had to like take care of that so you know we were getting paperwork and we've been Oh my gosh, it's been a lot of work, and so we had to get stuff to our um, person that's taking care of that. I have somebody handling it all for me. And so we had like a date due, and so uh, I was, it was the 17th, and I was up till 5 a.m. on the 15th, I think, getting it submitted to um, my preparer so they could have it for before the 17th. So, yeah, we've been super busy with that. So, that was all at the same time when we were like, oh, yeah, we'll run down there and get it. And we were just, we got lost in the paperwork. 
Hey, Harry. Nice to see you. You watched your granddaughter today? Nice. How fun. All right. You love a baby girl doll? Well, any doll on my website can go home as a girl because they are genderless things. So we can send them home. They have gender, no genders, and you can decide on that one. That's the nice thing about them being genderless, is that. And then even if you get it home and you don't like that gender, you can be like, you know what? I'm just going to put you back to a boy or a girl. That's a good thing when they don't have full bodies. Oh, I bet she's talking so much. Okay. I, yeah, I've been replying. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought, you know, I didn't bring a pair of scissors over. Okay. I got I thought that. I thought I brought a pair of scissors over. I thought I brought a pair of scissors over. How's your coffee? It's fine. Hey, Amanda. Nice to see you. Hey Jennifer, hey Jeanette. Some people popped up. I didn't see them. All right, now we're gonna work on the waiting in the body. That's where we are now. I get my glass beads off of Amazon too, in case you're wondering. Amazon. But they're crushed glass beads. They're not powdery fine. Sometimes I use those when I'm out of these beads. They're powdery fine, but um, it's what I prefer. I stuff the dolls to how I like my dolls. That's how I do it. That's how I found that it would just work the best. Back when I was a new artist, I'd be like, oh, how do you want your doll heavier, lighter, blah, blah, blah. And you know what? Those people always complain so much when they got the doll. Like, I don't like this, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, that's how you asked for it. But well, now you're going to tell me you don't like it? Well, well heck, restuff it. That's what I got to say. But yeah, and so I just started stuffing the dolls how I like it. And uh, actually, nobody really seems to complain. I haven't gotten a complaint on it quite yet. You need to buy neck rings? I don't use neck rings. I haven't used them in, since I first started this hobby. Did you pull those time? Okay. I haven't used any kind of rings or plugs. Hey, Typo! You like my shirt? Thank you, Frosted Sugar Cookies. It was a birthday gift. Um, from... Gail, how heavy can you weigh them? It really depends upon the dog. This dog, he... Six pounds is a lot. Like, he'll probably weigh like 5'8". This size typically is around 5'8 to 5'12". Um, and it's quite perfect for this size. Um, then like a three-month size, they'll kind of range between like six and a half seven again it depends upon the kid now if you want them really heavy you can add bb's like for a bb gun to them but it's just dead weight and become ridiculously heavy like some toddlers like when i make toddlers their limbs are only halfway full because if i was to fill up the entire limb holy cow you pick up that toddler and it just goes boom. like it just pulls down from the legs so you have to really size and so forth and preemies are generally around like two pounds sometimes it's a pound pain and i'm like wow that's all you weigh because you feel a lot heavier than that but um yeah it's really you just have to proportion it nicely because it's dead weight a lot of people don't seem to get that like silicones like they're nicely proportioned you know they're all weighted out nicely um like, I don't feel like America weighs six pounds. Like, she feels like she weighs like three or four pounds. So when she's, she weighs almost six pounds. So when I weighed her, I was like, wow, so much you weigh? Because you do not feel like that much. 
Hey, blue, uh, pineapple and blueberry. But, uh, yeah, it's just a pity upon dolls. And as for, like, the waiting in the head, too, like, depending upon, you know, the age of the baby, I have to decide, okay, well, this is how much weight we're going to put because at this age, if the baby, especially if it's awake, the baby can't actually sit and balance its head, you know, so I try to, like, adjust them to what a real baby would be doing at that stage. So, like, my toddlers, they have very minimal um, weighting in their head because actually polyfill puts in quite a bit of weight for itself, but they have very minimal weighting in their head so they can stand or however, you know, be like a toddler is especially awake. But awake, the sleeping babies, they need a little more weight in their head because they need to have a slouching head and that's what the weighting does. And then you also don't want to jam pack these bodies like you want to loose like not stuff like ah. no you want it to have pleats on Did its you, own why don't you see the question uh, on our neck rings oh yeah i did um okay. they are i mean they're just rings that go around the neck of the vinyl um i don't really use them that's why i didn't really talk about it but yeah Um, I think if you look up like reborn kids, some of them might suggest neck rings. I don't even know how to tell you a way to look it up without getting some crazy search. Hey Laura, nice to see you. Hey little wild ones reborns. Hey Debbie. Hey Lasaka. Okay. Here we go. Alright, we're gonna... Wait the head now and see how I like that. And see how I like that. How you like that? <laughs> uh, um, yeah, let's get talking. Alright. Oh, well, we're gonna take this. I should have cut my panty hoe better. I just wasted a lot of that. Just how do you get the right painting technique? Well, you know what? I'm gonna tell you that. There's lots and lots of practice. Uh, painting techniques cannot be taught, they're learned. So, lots of practice. It's just practicing and practicing and that's how you find your technique because every technique is is unique. Uh, yeah, that, that's a, just takes practice, man. Practice, lots of painting. I've painted thousands of dolls. Tell you what, it took me like three, like, I feel like, so I've been painting 12 years, I feel like the first four years, four to five years, all just straight practice. I don't know what the heck I'm doing, I'm just trying to get through this. Now, I mean, you know, I can paint really easy, like, for the most part. I get little challenges here and there, but I could probably paint in the dark, it wouldn't look that good, but I would know what I need. You know, like, now I can tell you step by step how to do a doll. Five years ago, I was still like, ugh, sometimes this, sometimes that. I don't know, man, I'm not sure. It changes all the time. But now I can tell you just looking at the vinyl, like, before you get started, I'm be like, yeah, we're going to do all this. And then that doll, we're not going to do this because it's got a different, you know, vinyl. So when I put the glass bead in the head, I always put it in the center of the head. Uh, first thing in. And then I put the polyfill until I don't hear the glass beads shaking anymore or filled in. But then you don't want to overstuff it, so you just do a little bit at a time. Oh, that's good. Is this a new Sebastian or the same one you had listed? This is the same one I had listed. So he's an awake baby. So, um, yeah, his, his weighting's in the center. My sleepers, they'll have their weighting in the forehead because their head is generally like this on their body. Like any, I like chin to chest a lot. That's a natural newborn position is chin to chest. And a photographer can tell you that too. So, um, I put it in their forehead, but he is awake. 
So we, we want him to be able to do a little bit more. So he gets a more universal move out of his head when it's in the middle of his head. Okay. Now I like to see what we have going on. I have a zip tie I don't like over here bugging me. It was five dollars and nine cents a gallon. I looked at Jackie and I said, "We're not getting gas here. This is way too expensive." I was like, "There's a gas station, Caddy Corner, over there, across the street. Let's go over there. It apparently is for, you know, eighty-nine a gallon or something." She's like, "Well, this one said forty-nine. I said, "Why well, ain't lying? Look at the damn pump. pump it says oh nine. That's the low grade. I don't know what to tell you." We're not paying that price. So we trucked on over across the street. My gosh, it was 489 over there, but still, you know what I'm saying? No, he's not a basic art doll. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna really be making those anymore. The uh, materials are way too expensive. So they will be on random when I can find like clearance cheap kits. But, meantime, we're just making full art dolls. I love full art babies, too. I love them all. They're all beautiful. Art. Good evening, Sarah. Hey, Donna. Nice to see you. All right, so I got him weighted. I don't know what he weighs. Actually, maybe we should see what he weighs. The scale is over there. Okay, one second. And check out his weight. So I like his belt. I was contemplating putting Wait, some more. Wait, where is it? I think it's in the front room. Oh. See, oh yeah, he holds so nice. Oh, look at that little guy. Oh my gosh. You're so cute. Max. Oh, I got a little Max. Maximilian. Uh, his name is Max. I'm, I don't think it's Max. It's not it. Maximus. You're right order. Okay. So we'll just get his weight. Do then I'll have to see the, the number. The you can blanket? just. No, it's fine on the blanket. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then I'll have to see the number. You guys can't see how well, much we he weighs. Well, we have to change all the camera angles. So. You guys can't see. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Oh, he is five pounds, three ounces. That's a big baby. Five pounds, three ounces. I was thinking five eight was gonna be his weight. Yep, I was. We were close. We were close. All right, guys, let's put your diaper on. We'll get you dressed. Cute baby dolls. They're so cute. Thank you. Della bundles of love. Says happy birthday. Thank you so much. Thank you, Osaka Chan. She says happy belated birthday. Don't forget to feed him spaghettios. I only got six. It's not enough to share. Sorry. We're not sharing it with him. He's gonna have to find his own spaghetti O's. <laughs> Treasure Glory, he's so freaking adorable. Thank you. Yeah, he's super cute. He is really cute. Um had I not been working on a different sleeping doll for myself, I maybe would have kept it. I don't know. But I have this other baby that I think is super cute for my collection. We'll see. We'll see. It was going to be a girl, but now it's going to be a boy. Then I saw some really cute girl clothes today, and I'm like, can't find the boy clothes. Account is this chat working? I mean, yeah, it's working. First time I've seen you, but yes, <laughs> it's working. Thank you, Shelly. We need a spaghetti with outfit. Ah. You're trying to find someone to custom him. Oh, yeah, 
Yeah, she's lucky to have a custom gouchin painted. I'm just not taking them right now. Um, hopefully sometime, I see maybe next year. But yeah, cute kit. I'm working on finishing two custom gouchins. Plus, it's probably good that I take a break from making so many in a row. That way their cuteness remains for the next time I make them. But yeah, she wants one with full arms. That's going to be an expensive project because you got to buy two complete kits. It's hard to find any arms. And you got to hope that they match, the vinyl colors match. Because the vinyl colors are always slightly different. Okay. But it'll be so cute with four arms and super unique. I don't think, I don't, I haven't seen one with four arms. I haven't seen a lot though. But I think it would be really cute. If you can find some chunky arms. You love my mini silicone, Shelly? She is so cute, right? I'm working on getting some clothes. I'm going to be doing some, getting some clothes from Elissa. I'm going to do some trade work with her. Yeah, she makes all the little mini clothes that are so freaking cute. And they're really nice prices, too. Look at him! He is so adorable! What a ham! What a ham! So cute! Okay, so, I. Uh, uh, do you play Mad Libs before we end this live? Should we play Mad Libs? I felt so bad last night. Somebody shouted out Mad Libs and I was like, end. All at the same time I saw Mad Libs come up. I was like, I'm so sorry. Right, Shelly? He is so adorable. His mom is over the freaking moon for him. She's like, he is so loved. They're like, yes, 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 yes. All right, well, we're not playing. <laughs> that was, it was opposite day. Oh, I think I left that part out. <laughs> um, no, we'll play if Jackie wants to grab the Mad Lips book. He is Sebastian. He's adorable. Hey, Arctic Wolves, just in time for Mad Lips. Yay! So cute. But I do have two other babies available on the website. Oh my gosh, one I absolutely love. So if I end up not liking my awake doll when I'm done with it, I might just keep that one. But I think she looks a lot like America, so I really don't need her in my collection because she looks a lot like America. But I don't know. She's really cute though. You found the 90s Nickelodeon Mad Libs? Yep, that's where I got mine. Careful with the point of the baby. Okay. Wait. Um, all right, got it, got it, got it. There we go. So we're going to say him right here. So he's away from the ink pen. Because there has been Cutie. one. One doll has an ink pen marked in my collection. And it's not ink pen, it's permanent marker. Permanent marker. Marker. Rhymes with a doll's name in my collection. Marker. Parker. Parker has permanent marker on him because his reborn mom lets him hold markers thinking he can, you know, he can do it all. And he did get marker on him. Yeah, like a year ago. It's been a bit now. <laughs> We're coming to terms with it. We're coming to terms with it. Okay. So, um, let's see. Nine pounds is too heavy for um, a newborn by far. Even a three months is too heavy. That's a six month size. Three to six months is a is a size. Did Molly do that to Parker? Uh, yeah, no. Okay, so let's see. We got this one. That's the Goofy Mad Liz. Let me see what's up next in this one to do. to look at something fun. See, we shouldn't be looking at something fun because then they don't get done. That's why we do the next one in order because I have a problem with that. Okay. <laughs> this is a good one. Is this the next one? That's a good one. 
It's not the next one, but that was a good one. Let me see what the next one is. Ah, baby shower it is tonight. Baby shower it is tonight. Oh, well, when you're a real newborn, born at nine pounds, that's not too heavy. You have to understand the difference between dead weight and a live weight. If you go and hold, I hate to say it, but a DEAD baby, it doesn't feel the same as an alive one. I've, I've, I've held one in a hospital. It's very different. It's very heavy. It's wow. This doesn't feel like a baby. Same thing with the dolls. It's dead weight. It doesn't hold like life. When it's life, you have your muscles and your ligaments that help pull you up and you don't right. You, you, that you makes don't sense. feel dead weight. Like uh you know, you it's just it's something when you're holding it, they're all it's all pulled together naturally, you know, it moves naturally. When it's dead weight, you're picking up a sack of potatoes. Pick up a sack of potatoes, hold your reborn in the hand, like, oh yeah, this doesn't a sack of potatoes and a real baby, you'll feel the difference. So if you have a sack of potatoes in one hand and a real baby in another hand that are both 10 pounds, you're going to be like, oh, the potatoes feel way more heavier than the baby. No. Realistically, they are the same weight. But one is alive. And its own life helps hold its weight. That if That's the only way I can make it make sense. But yeah, so that's how that kind of works. Okay, so on to Mad Libs. All right, let's get started. This is called the joys of pregnancy. All right, let's go. So our first, we're kicking off with a uh, noun. So you're just gonna suggest a noun for those who haven't played. So just a noun, person, place, or thing. I pick them, sometimes I pick the first one I see, sometimes it's random. I definitely try to throw them all about so not, not one person is picked all the time, but then sometimes one person is picked all the time because I'm going for first word. So, we're gonna go with towel because we've got our first one I saw. And then hospital. So, we're kind of going a little bit in order right now. And then uh, bowl. And try not to get the same ones. Pickle. And I'm going to be taking the last one. <laughs> uh, the last one is um, dinner. Okay, all right. The next thing is going to be an adjective which describes something adjective is a describing word so we need an adjective describing word <laughs> bald hot mm, all right we are done with adjectives Next, we're gonna need a couple of this, but I need a part of a body. Part of a body. Oh, you know, an update on my uh, spider. I think he's molting. I think he's growing. He's in a, He's in his, he made a, a home and he's totally nested inside in there. And freaking one of his fruit flies is pestering me right now. He's nested in there and he didn't come out today, so I think he's molting, but he's been eating a ton. Like I said, he's been eating way too much. So yeah, I think I'm gonna name him Heart. Aw, that's adorable. Today I looked at him and I was like, Heart. I like it. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I did ask for part of the body, so I should go back and look at what we have here. Let's see, I like Eyeball. Actually, hold on. I need to put that here. Eyeball. And then... Ha! <laughs> we'll do heart. Because I did... I did just suggest that as... I said that was the spider's name. So we'll do heart. And... Okay. Alright, the next is... Um, we need a verb, which is an action word. Verb. Action word... 
New sub, love your videos. Thank you, Ashley, and welcome. So glad I saw that. Let's do jump. Let's do typing. And let's do sing. Okay, and that's it for action words. Let's do type of food. We need two for type of food. Type of food. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun today though. You guys, have, we got a lot of footage. I think we got a good amount of footage. Jackie's got footage on your phone too, right babe? Yeah, you need to put that on Dropbox so I can steal it. Okay, let's go with corn. Let me see. I'm trying to see some things I have in it. Mac and cheese. Okay. And this one, uh, I need a number. We got one spot and we need a number. One number. One, one number. It's quite the number go. Whitney, I'm going to take you. I haven't seen your name come up yet. All right. Let's go. Let's see what the joys of pregnancy are going to be this time around for us. So, how is it gonna go? All right. It's truly a miracle to be growing a pal inside your body. But let's not forget about the other bald changes you're going to go through in six months leading up to the hot event. <laughs> One of the most common pregnancy symptoms is the urge to jump up. Without warning, that pepperoni corn you ate becomes your worst enemy, and saltine bowls become your best friend. You can also expect red pickles on your face and rampant hospital swings. Then, as you get bigger, your internal eyeballs will get squished. The results, a case of heartburn so bad. Oh my god, that went too good. <laughs> a case of heartburn so bad. You wonder if there's fire typing dragons living in your throat. Oh, and your bladder shrinks to the size of a mac and cheese. <laughs> Damn. That's a mere laugh, sneeze, laugh. or sing can make you rethink wearing adult dinners. <laughs> adult dinners? <laughs> the damn heart was too literal. Like, we messed that sentence up. I should have put that word somewhere else. I should have read the sentence, I guess. That goes to show you I don't read what's going on because just like you, I want to be shocked, okay? And okay. We were shocked. All right. Let me see. We got one. We'll do one more with this. <laughs> That's a tiny bladder. Macaroni cheese, you're going to have to wear a diaper. Yeah, I hate to be you. <laughs> Alright, this one's called Little League Baseball. We're going to have to do it. I don't want to do it, but we have to do it. I just don't want to do sports. I want to do something different, but we're going to do it because we're not going to skip pages. Because I see, you know, you skip one page and you skip five pages and you're like, there's nothing good in this book. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to kick it off with Noun. Wow, Noun is going to go through a lot of our categories. All right, let's see. Let's start it off. Noun, noun you later. Deborah Anderson's in here. Oh, nice to see you. I got. <laughs> I either removed Deborah Anderson from my family. No. Weird, but cool. Hey, welcome. We're all welcome here. We love everybody. Um. Okay. So, oh, we're already shouting off stuff. We've got frogs. I have to make it plural because I need plural. We have, <laughs> oh gosh, we have possum. You know, I learned how to spell possum when I got bit by one. Uh, we have reborns. 
I honestly was like, oh my gosh, those freaking things. Don't talk to me about possums anymore. I love them, but I love them now from afar. Uh, tombstone. We're going with that one. Um, Holly. We'll put Holly in there. Yeah, I, yeah, I got bit by a possum a year ago. Oh my goodness. It, it's been a year. The year anniversary was on February 4th. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> it's my kid's birthday. It's my kid's birthday. It's hilarious. I got bit on my kid's birthday. The world was like, you need a distraction, hon. Uh, you had a pet possum. I want one so bad. That's why I was trying to capture that one. But okay. she forgot that. So we're done wild. with the nouns. Hey, we're, hey Susie. <laughs> I forgot that they were wild. She thought she could just pick it up like a house cat. <laughs> and that thing bit her and she was shocked. <laughs> Definitely was shocked. Definitely was shocked. Definitely like, was shocked. How dare you play I like me. to ride on her head. Oh, I'm so jealous. Have a good night, Jeanette. Good night, Jeanette. Okay, so the next one we need is adjective, which is a describing word. We need an adjective. Adjective. We need a couple of them. I want a possum so bad, but, hmm, yeah. All right, I saw happy get suggested a couple times. We'll say happy. <laughs> Verbally. <laughs> okay, we're going to take that one. We got Susie in here. We're going to take one from her because she just joined. We got lovely. Okay, I think we're good. We're good. We're good. The next ones is just going to be like, well, I'm going to need two of it, and the next ones are one. They're just one thing. You have to get one as a baby. Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> but that means this I have to... was like a early teen, I would say. Or oh, older, probably. Yeah, early teen. That means I have to rob it from its mom. And then I gotta fight the mom. And we got another <laughs> problem on our hands. But t trust me, when I see dead possums on the side of the road, I don't check them because, well, I've been eating them yet. But if I see them, I'm going to, if the situation looks good, there's not a lot of blood and guts everywhere, we're gonna observe them because apparently a lot of the time when um, the moms get hit, they have their babies in their pouch. And then the babies end up dying because they're left on the road. So I'm definitely going to be, you know, I don't know, trying to figure out how we can see these babies in there with not um, getting their hands dirty. But anyways, possums can't get rabies. Yes, totally right. Did not have to get a rabies shot. Thank God. Oh my, my God. We don't want that. Okay, anyway, so the next thing we need is a number. We're going to need two spots for this. I need two numbers. Let's get it. Let's go. Throw me some numbers. Yeah, Lydia didn't know it either. Trust me. First thing I Googled was rabies. Possums' temp body temperature is too low for rabies to harvest because rabies is a parasite. And so um, it's too, the body temperature is too low for the parasite to thrive in the body. So that is one thing, and it's a fast active parasite, so it quickly goes, and so you gotta go to the hospital to get the right treatment for it. But yeah, all right, so we got number four, and we got number, <laughs> man, these are some huge numbers. I'm gonna take 58. Yeah, so, um, Possums is one of the few animals that would carry rabies. Now, had it been a fox, had it been a squirrel, something else stupid that I would put my hands on. Yeah, you gotta go get your rabies shots. So I was thankful that I didn't have to get that done. I learned that. That was something new I learned in 2022. And that's when I got bit. Okay, so now we need, uh, we're gonna take one of these and it is a part of a body. So part of the body. If a name comes up, you can use mine, please. Okay, you know what? Perfect, Frosted Sugar Cookies, because I have a name coming up. I'm going to take you. 
Yay for volunteering. volunteering. Oh, she said put Amber. Oh, put Amber. Okay, I'll put Amber. I wasn't sure if you wanted your real name. Amber volunteered herself. I don't know what she volunteered herself for, but hey, I didn't want to be on there. I have a... <laughs> Okay, she says, Susie, you know what? We're going to do it. We're doing boob. <laughs> We're freaking doing it, man. Doing it. Doing it. And we are going to do... I see toe is up here a couple of times. The different forms of a toe. Oh, no. We only needed one body part. So boob took it. Now we need an occupation. Let's give us... Let's get a job probably gonna be Amber's job I mean it is called little league baseball so I don't know let's see what we got going on here you know I haven't seen JJ's doll world suggest something I'm gonna say lawyer everybody needs one of those nowadays all right let's go we're ready Little leaguer, little league baseball. What we got going on here? All right. Many future big league baseball frogs are being trained in little league today. The little leagues are just like the big big reborns, except the players are all between four and fifty-eight years old. <laughs> when an when a possum goes out for a little league team, he's given happy tests in the field. Build fast tombstones and in hitting. In building fast tombstones and in hitting, he can either play the verbally filled or in the lovely filled. <laughs> one filled's chatty, one filled's full of love. <laughs> or he had, or if he has a good throwing boob, he can be oh. pitcher or catcher. <laughs> if he. If he can't do anything, he can sit on the holly. <laughs> on the holly? Yeah, holly reborn. But no matter the position he plays, a little leaguer learns to work with his fellow lawyer. <laughs> if you play with a little league team, who, who knows? You may become a famous big leaguer baseball player like Amber. Oh, that was too nice. He usually really throws me under the bus. You got a nice ending sentence, Amber. <laughs> you couldn't ask for a more pleasant read. Well, you know, for being about Little League and me being like, yeah, this is going to be boring. Not funny. It's really kind of pretty funny. That was a good one. So, wow. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you guys had fun. Um, it's always a pleasure to be here. It's always a pleasure to be here. This little guy is going to head off to his mom. And if you guys are looking for babies to adopt, make sure to check out the website. Got some little cuties up there. And we'll have a toddler available here soon. Uh, it's like six months size. Six to nine months size. So it'll be available soon. All right, guys. We love you all so much. Remember to stay safe, stay positive, And thank you for all the birthday wishes. You guys are amazing. I really do appreciate it. And we love you guys so much. We'll be back soon. Bye.